Hello viewers, this is Sridhar as usual from Selpip Academy with yet another video on IELTS reading. So in today's video, you're going to see IELTS general reading and not academic reading. All right, so what is the difference? The difference is the first two passages in general IELTS will be small. The paragraphs will be small. However, in academic, all the three passages will be bigger in size, the paragraphs. So to find out the keyword synonyms and the inference is easier in general than in academic. However, I would also suggest that you practice both general and academic because the third passage on the general aisles would be like the academic only. So we'll see a combination of both today. Now, just before I get started, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and do smash the like button also comment below so that I can come up with more such videos in the future. All right, let me share the screen. So what do we have here? We have true false not given. Okay, so I've taken an excerpt from some newspaper or it is called as journal. Always read the question up front, look for the keywords, synonyms and inference. What is inference? Inference would be related to that particular question would be an inference. Now, here they are saying the scientists are using a technique from electronics to control specific plant properties True, false, not given. So there are about 14 question types. So if you are given a true, false, not given, definitely they will not be asking you to write another yes, no, not given because that is the difficult difficulty of reading. So they will definitely not repeat to make it more difficult for you. So if they are going to give you some sentence completion, definitely summary completion will not be there. Multiple choice will certainly be there. But then if they are going to give you match the heading, they will, might not ask you for match, match the information. All right, these are the few question types, short answer and also few other things like yes, no, not given, as I said earlier. Okay, so here we see the scientists are using a technique from electronics to control specific plant properties. True, false, not given. So do I see the scientists in the paragraph? I see biologists. This is how I skim and scan. I don't read the entire paragraph at all. I'll see if I can read a few sentences up front and few sentences in the last few lines of the paragraph. Of course, the topic is important. Now here the topic is not given, as I said earlier, the topic I would be sharing from the next slide onwards anyway. So here the biologists or the scientists are using, creating the same modularity technique from electronics designing gene circuits to control specific plant characteristics properties. So it is true because they are saying it in a different way. So you should not say that no scientists are not given here. So it should be not given only. You should understand the reading. That's why I suggest to all my candidates aspiring to, aspiring to study abroad or to take or to uh, immigrate to Canada, wherever that may be, to read a lot of newspapers, to understand the reading, the complexity of the reading, so that you can easily try and attempt the reading and clear it in the first attempt itself. Anyway, so it's true. Biologists are creating the same modularity in wait for it plants by designing gene circuits that control specific plant characteristics. Okay, now always read the question. Only for match the heading alone, you should read the paragraph up front to match the heading because not all the um, headings would be um, uh, repetitive. Sometimes you'll have something called as nota bean, take notes in Latin saying that it will be repetitive. So you have to read the, the, not the heading, but the paragraph up front on the match the heading alone. For the rest of the question types, you have to read the question. Now here, the chilies became popular as soon as they were brought into Europe. Now we have to see 
how it became popular as soon as it was brought into Europe. I'll read the first few sentences. Chilies originate in South America and have been eaten for at least 9,500 years. Organized cultivation began around 5,400 BC. Christopher Columbus was the first European to encounter chilies. I'm still not getting the answer. Chilies became popular as soon as they were brought into Europe. After their introduction to Europe, they were an immediate sensation so that Europe is there and the synonym sensation is there and they were quickly incorporated into the diet. So chilies became popular as soon as it was brought into Europe. Popular sensation, these are synonyms. So it is true. All right. Capsaicin causes significant damage to the mouth. Because of eating chili, capsaicin causes significant damage to the mouth. We'll have to wait and see. Chronologically, go to the next para to read the reasons for chili shortness lies in the chemical called as capsaicin. Capsaicin causes temporary irritation. Stop at that. It says only temporary irritation. So here it says capsaicin causes damage. So it's contradicting the statement. So it's false. Whenever the truth is being contradicted, then you have to give the answer as false. Chilies can be part of bird's diet. Go to the next paragraph. The reason for the presence of capsaicin is thought to be to deter animals from eating the fruit. Only mammals feel the burning effect. Remember, birds feel nothing as birds are better method of distributing the seeds which pass intact through their gut. Gut means stomach. So they are also eating it. It can be part of their diet. So it is true. All large chilies grow high of the ground. Does the large chilies grow above the ground, high of the ground? We'll have to wait and see in the text. The smaller chilies tend to be the hottest. They may reflect the fact that they tend to grow closer to the ground. They're only talking about the smaller chilies and they have never mentioned about the bigger chilies or chilies growing like a maybe a, more than a capsaicin like a red pepper. No, I don't think so. I've I'm, I'm not seen at least in India. All right. So... They are only talking about smaller chilies, but not the large chili. So it's not given. People breed chilies for their heat. We'll have to see now in the next sentences. The heat of the chili is measured on the scovel scale. We have only four paragraphs like the academic test takers, um, uh, you know, reading type. It's bigger in size, right? Because general test takers will find small paragraphs, small, small, two, three, four sentences, two sentences, one sentence, something like that. So... The heat of the chili is measured on the scovel scale. They're only talking about how it is being measured because of the heat that is present in the chili and they have not mentioned anywhere that people breed chilies for their heat. So it should be not given. So this is how you need to figure out the true false not given. You might say, sir, this particular reading is very easy. But when we go to the real time test, we find it difficult. Please start reading newspapers. That's my humble request to you. Because you have to understand the reading. Otherwise, it will be even more difficult for you. Choose no more than three words. It's also a sentence completion. And other than that, it's a flow chart as well. All right. I'm so sorry for the... Excuse me. Let me put it on silent mode. So that we don't get disturbed in the... Class, no more than three words. Apologies for that. So it's a the production process. It's a sentence completion. You might uh, have to find uh, three words, two words, or one word. Don't give more than four word, three words. It will be a wrong answer. The assessors will not give you any score for that, but they will, in fact, give you no score, and uh, you will get a wrong answer. That is, they will not give you any score. So you have to write only three words, two words, or one word which is accepted. Grammatically, not imperfect. Grammatically imperfect words will not be counted. For instance, I'll show you how it is. The production process, the newspaper is compiled at the editorial headquarters by the journalist. The final version of the text is dashed to the printing center. So here we are saying that we are looking at final version of the text. Definitely in the paragraph, final version will not be there. And the text will also be not there. We have to say, see that the final version of the text is dashed to the printing center and not the pre-presenter. 
printing center because everywhere you have pre press uh, pre press center as well as printing center which is the final center so pre press center and printing final printing center will not be the same place anyway robots at work the newspaper production process has come a long way see i read the robots at work that is the topic so you have to be sure that what you are reading you should know that flow chart completion sentence completion robots at work the newspaper production process has come a long way from the old days when the paper was written edited typeset and ultimately printed in one building with the journalist as i told you it is not no more in the same building these days the editors sub editors and journalists who put the paper together are likely to find themselves in a totally different building or maybe even in a different city as well okay that's what it is the daily paper is compiled at the editorial headquarters now what did i read here i read that the newspaper is compiled at the editorial headquarters by the journalist so the answer should lie after this particular thing in the paragraph the final version of the text is dashed to the printing center so the final version is dashed to the printing center let's go to the paragraph now i have to read the last few sentences the daily paper is compiled at the editorial headquarters known as the pre press center in the heart of the city but printed far away in the suburbs at the printing center here humans are in the minority as much of the work is done by automated machines controlled by computers i'm still not getting the answer the final version once the finished newspaper second paragraph is where we are getting final version you see has been created for the next morning's edition all the pages are transmitted electronically from the pre press center to the printing center so all the pages is what is text are transmitted electronically so this way you have to find the answer it's that easy the pages arrive by facsimile now, now i have to find out where there is a mention of the facsimile let's go to the a paragraph b paragraph now okay once the finished newspaper has been created for the next morning's edition all the pages are transmitted electronically from the pre press to the printing center this is where we stopped it's a flow chart so start from the second sentence because in a flow chart if you move on to the next paragraph you will not find the answer believe me so you have to start from the next sentence the system of transmission is an update on the sophisticated page fasi mail system already in use on many other newspapers so what do you see the fasi uh, sophisticated page fasi mail system already in use on many other newspapers an image setter at the printing center delivers the pages as film each pages take less than a minute to produce although for color pages four version cn so i don't have to read all this let's go to the question next it says the pages are converted into dash now we have to see that the pages are converted look for a synonym converted so what is a conversion the pages are then processed into photographic negatives and the film film is nothing else but photographic negatives i knew it when i was just about 20 years old so don't confuse yourself with photographic negatives as different and film as different both are same pages are then processed into converted into photographic negatives okay so we got the answer photographic negatives is the answer dash are made for use in printing presses without which you cannot do the printing at all now i have to go to the next sentence and the film is used to produce aluminium printing plates either i can say plates as the answer or printing plates as an answer or else i can say aluminium printing plates as an answer remember it's no more than three words grammatically i can give one word there is no grammar word then i can give printing plates i cannot say it is uh, you know aluminium printing plates uh, produce aluminium printing plates it's no no more than three words you cannot give four words so make sure that you give grammatically perfect answer the lgv is a dash by computer now do i see any mention of computer on the third paragraph i see only machines but i don't see any computers here at all so i have to go to the 
fourth paragraph quickly skim and scan to look for the keyword synonyms that's all robots principal job however is to shift the newsprint that arrive at the plant in huge reels and emerges at the other end some time later as newspaper we are talking about computer here so the information is punched into the computer and the LGVs are programmed to go about their work. Whoops, I got the answer. Now, what are we looking at? The LGVs are dashed by computer. Please don't say punched by computer, otherwise the LGVs fall, will fall down. So it is actually programmed to go about their work is the correct meaning to it. So programmed by the computer. The LGVs collect the reels of paper. Where do I see LGVs collect the reels of paper? LGVs collect the appropriate size, next sentence, of paper and take them where they want to go. So after that, I have to read now. Now, next question is, the LGVs remove the dash from the... Why do they want to remove something from the reel? Now we have to look at that. So the LGVs move from one place to the other. Those are the key functions. And then from one area, from the rack supplies to the newsprint storage area, stripping station is where the tough ramming, wrapping helps to protect a reel of paper from rough handling is removed. We still don't have the answer. We don't remove the rough handling. So any damaged paper is peeled off. This makes sense here. So any damaged paper. So the LGVs remove the damaged paper or it's the tough wrapping because sometimes it get entangled and then you'll have to remove and fix it back again. Of course, the LGVs, the robots will do the work. The reel is then done what? Okay, so peeled off and the reel is then weighed. So you shouldn't go to the next paragraph and suddenly jump and look for the answer and say, oh my God, I didn't find the answer. You have to stick to the same sentence because it's a flow chart and a sentence completion. Normally in a, in a sentence completion, answers will lie on the first few sentences of the paragraph or in the last few sentences. That is how you'll have to find your answer. The reels, the reel is then weighed. The reel is trimmed and prepared by whom? Now go to the next paragraph to see. Then one of the four paster robots moves in, specifically designed for the job. It trims the paper neatly and prepares the reel for the press. Who does the job here? Four paster robots. Either I can give robots as answer, or paster robots as answer, or four paster robots as answer. The reel is taken to the press. If not, where it is taken? Reel is taken to. Now, in the second line, I see that the LGV takes to the storage area. See, for instance, if you are going to print a newspaper, you will definitely take it to load it directly onto the press. Or if not needed, the LGVs will keep them in the storage area. They've been programmed to keep it in the storage area, which is what is given here. So this is how I'll have to look for the answers. Look basically for the synonyms on the true, false, not given. And look for the keywords on the sentence completion, which is what we did right now. Okay. So these are the answers for you. Things in bracket. So if it's a plural, you have to give it as plural. If it's a singular, you have to give it as singular. But on the reading, they will not penalize you. Of course, in the listening, they would. Okay, multiple choice questions. Why are longer flights potentially harmful to the passengers and crew? Because there isn't much oxygen in the air. People will get bored. Long periods of inactivity will damage their bone. So long, what are long haul flights? Flights that, in fact, fly for 18 hours in the air creates its own challenges. A lot of preparation goes into ultra long haul flights. All right. Now, the seasoned traveler is also more aware of the health risk associated with a flight that covers 16,600 kilometers anywhere around 10,000 miles in distance, exposure to lower oxygen levels for up to 18, maybe 20 hours is abnormal for the human body. But deep vein thrombosis, the problem really starts to occur after 12 hours when you are not flying in your own jet, but you have to fly in economy business or something like that. 
you'll have to face a lot of challenges, my friend. So it is the oxygen level. Sometimes people get heart attack. They will also be having some disprin, aspirin and things like that, apart from the oxygen mask, which falls down at the time of turbulence. Anyway, what are flight socks, special socks to keep the plane free of harmful bacteria? One of the preventive measures planned by airlines, socks that stop your blood getting too thin. So here they are, they are saying doctors believe prevention is better than cure when it comes to in-flight health. Passengers of ultra long range flights need to be provided with flight socks. What are flight socks? If ne necessary, tablets for thinning the blood. They are giving you tablets like aspirin or dysprin to thin the blood. But here it says, okay, special socks to keep the plane free of harmful bacteria. No, that's not the answer. One of the preventive measures may be socks that stop your blood getting too thin. No, they are not giving you tablets for to stop your blood getting too thin, but they are giving you tablets to thin your blood, to make it thin so that you can breathe easily, you know, again. And the blood starts to flow into your arteries very freely. So the C is not the right answer. It's contradicting the statement. So B is the right answer. One of the preventive measures, because we saw it is already given. Doctors believe prevention is better than cure. So make sure you do not give your answers in a jiffy and get wrong and get low bands on band score on the IELTS. Which of the following methods of countering the health problems caused by long haul flights is not mentioned? Which is not mentioned? How to best cope with the jet lag? Advice on food consumption during a flight? Advice on drinking alcohol? Which is not mentioned? Now, if I see that passengers here, they give us training on fatigue management because when you travel such a long distance, you have to train your body on fatigue management. How to adjust to the local time in New York and to exercise. Maybe also drink a lot of water. You'll get dehydrated. As well as take care of your diet and eat lightly in flight. So they have not mentioned anything about alcohol. All these long flights is with abundance of alcohol in it. So you'll be given alcohol there, which is not mentioned. So the answer to this question is advice on drinking alcohol. To New York passengers are saving up to four hours in flying time. There are less problems with jet lag passengers. Save time passengers get a good break between flights. So what is the answer? Let's go to the paragraph. Passengers are trading in health concerns of convenience. So I'm talking about New York. From Los Angeles to Singapore, passengers are saving up to two and a half hours. And to New York, passengers are saving up to four hours in flying time. So New York passengers are saving time. So B is the right answer here. Passengers save time. Connecting Asian cities to the US East Coast. Where is the big market? Okay, between Europe and America? Between America and Asia, between Asia and Europe, I already know the answer, but do not live in assumption. Go to the paragraph and see if the answer is given. In the last paragraph, nothing is given about the big market. I can see it because I'm rolling my eyes, skimming and scanning. Of course, this paragraph is where there is a mention of demand and big market here. So Asia is where there is a big demand is for the ultra long haul flights. They are connecting Asian cities to the US East Coast, which is the big market. So it has come under quotation as well. So I know now between Asia and America is where the big market is. I, I do not know if any other country has such a big market, but of course from India, a lot of people fly to America every year. They also get deported in a big chunk. I do not know. If it's true or not, anyway, let's stick to the questions here. No more than three words. This is like a summary, but I've taken out the summary. I've jotted out the summary because the answers are very, very easier. Otherwise, they will give you one box in which they'll fit in all the keywords. That's all. You'll have to just find out. It'll be more easier. Or a number. You have to find out a number or no more than three words. What has been found in some fancy food products? So what has been found? Fancy food products wishes to inform the public that pieces of metal have been found. We got the answer. Pieces of metal. All right. Where can you find, no more than three words, where can you find the batch number or jars? So they are asking, where can you find 
the bash number on jars, either on the top or on the bottom or on the side. You should not give once again, you know, uh, on the bottom of each jar because it's no more than three words. You will not get any score for it. So you'll have to see now where the bash numbers are found. It is printed on the bottom of each jar, right? So ideally, grammatically, bottom, the bottom or on the bottom fits perfectly. This is what I mentioned that grammatically perfect answer. You should not be giving bottom of each jar, which is wrong. Anyway, let's get to the question. How much will you receive for an opened jar of contaminated chicken curry? Opened fancy food will pay $10 for each jar returned unopened and $5 for each jar already opened. So for the each jar opened, you will get $5, $5. Next question, if you have eaten chicken curry from a jar with one of the batch numbers listed, whom should you contact? Of course, you must be whistleblowing it to someone. We will find out who is that gentleman. No payment will be made for empty jars which do not need to be returned. However, the retailing manager will be interested, interested to hear from people who have consumed chicken curry from any one of the above batch numbers. So retailing manager should be the answer. Do not go down and see that there is also a mention of customer relation manager. He will not be listening to you. Only the retailing manager would. All right. So retailing manager is the right answer. What is the maximum reward fancy food product is offering for information about who contaminated whistleblowers, of course. So what is the maximum they are offering? Maximum is $50,000. Don't give 10000 once again. Don't do the mistake because maximum is $50,000. All right. So this is the answer. So answer in the bracket is avoidable because as I told you, one word, two words, three words grammatically. So, if you gave managers, manager, which manager, retailing manager, grammatically perfect because you had already had a customer relation manager as well. So, you have to be careful. Okay, match the information. So, what do we have here? We have police. Is there? Heading police, policing. Okay, police. Now, match the information. We have to go to the question once again. Which paragraph contains the following information, A, B, or C? Okay, will I have only so much of, uh, so many paragraphs? No, you will probably have anywhere from seven to eight paragraphs, but I've taken only little because we have all the answers in these three paragraphs itself. There are only four questions. Let's see what is the first question. Positive news that led to a new government policy. What is the positive news here? I have to read the first centrally organized police force was created by the government of King Louis the 15th in 1667. What is the question? Positive news that led to a new government policy. I see government in the first paragraph. Do, you, do I see any other thing government in the second paragraph? No. In the third paragraph, I see government. Yes, I do see it. Word of this success spread quickly and the government passed the Marine police bill, I got the answer. So C is where the answer lies. This is how you need to figure out the answers quickly. The origin of an English word. Now, where do I see the origin of an English word? In the first paragraph, last line, the word police was borrowed from French into the English language in the 18th century. Probably they didn't have any other word to keep for the police. So they borrowed it. So A is the right answer. People's reluctance to accept a foreign idea. They didn't want to accept this initially. So the idea we have to check, it is there in the B paragraph. The idea of a police asset then existed in France was considered as a potentially undesirable foreign import. So B is the right answer. A specific problem that needed to be solved. So why do you need the police for to catch the criminal? No, initially they were introduced only to catch the criminal, basically the thieves. In 1797, Patrick Colon, a Scottish merchant, was able to persuade the West Indies merchants who operated at the Pool of London on the River Thames to establish a police force at the docks to prevent rampant theft 
that was causing annual estimated losses of 500,000 pounds worth of cargo. Because I, when I was reading quickly, I do the skim and scan so that I can easily find out where the answer lies. Because everywhere else, the amount in pounds is less, but only $500,000 worth of cargo was getting uh, I mean, uh, was uh, thieves were, uh, in fact, siphoning off whatever things are, right? Maybe it could be gold, which costs so much, maybe, yeah. All right. So we got the answer in B. Anyway, sometimes you will also get things like this on the general. So what are they doing here? It's a Molex iron. So they are pressing the button from on top and steam is coming from down in the number one picture. So we have to see which paragraph has it. Filling the reservoir, temperature and steam control, spray button. Yeah, this is where we can look for it. This button activates a jet cold water. No, I saw something like steam. So pressing button, okay. This button activates a super shot of steam. So D is the right answer to that picture. So two, so there is a place for storing the water as well as draining the water. Now we have to see what they are doing. They are draining the water. So filling the reservoir is where we have to go because always unplug the iron before filling the reservoir. Always empty the reservoir after use. So A is the right answer. Anyway, next is they are pressing something and water is coming out. We already read in the C that this button activates a jet cold water. So you have to remember on the reading, which is what you have to do. That way it will be easier. Fourth one, they are doing a vertical Charlie here. So let's see where it, there is a mention for the suits, okay? It is pos possible to use the sign in a vertical position so that you can remove creases from clothes or on from coat hangers or the curtains. So they were doing a vertical Charlie, so I came to know about it. Next, no more than three words. What sort of water is, water is advised to use? What sort of water is advised to use? Is there a water that they are advising? Your iron is designed to function using tap water. However, this is changing the answer, getting interesting, isn't it? It will last longer if you use distilled water. So distilled water is the right answer on the for the first question. What factors makes you decide on the quantity of steam to use? Now, we have an iron box at home. We use certain quantity that we want for the heat. So we have to see whether the fabric is cotton or the fabric is polyester or linen or anything else. So accordingly, we keep the heat. Otherwise, you will burn the cloth. Okay. Otherwise, it will be destroyed. What factors? So the factor is the type of fabric on the B, temperature and steam control. So this is how quickly you have to skim and scan. Start reading, everyone. It's not an advice. I'm just simply giving you a suggestion. Or you might take it as an advice as well. Okay, now next question. What should I, what should you do if your iron starts to drip water? So if, if the iron starts to drip water, then what should you do? Turn the steam control to the desired in intensity. Turn the thermostat control to desired temperature because temperature and steam control is where I have to look for. Important if your iron produces droplets of water instead of steam. Instead of steam, you're getting water from the iron. Your temperature control is set to low. Set to low, sorry. So you have to increase the temperature. So that is the answer. Sometimes it is tricky, you know. You do not have the exact keyword so you have to make your own answer they will give you good score for that don't worry about it they will not penalize it increase the temperature because it's no more than three words you can write what could damage your iron if you do not clean clean is where i have to look auto clean okay what could damage in order that your iron does not become furred up okay furred up means clogged up or something like that as soon as the indicator light goes out Unplug the iron and, and holding it over the sink, turn the steam control to auto clean. Any calcium depos deposit will be washed off. All right, so I am fumbling here 
also slurring. Sometimes it happens when you keep on chatting or talking. You know? Cash in deposits is the right answer. Okay. Or you can also give the answer as furred up or furring up. Anything is okay. So grammatically, you have to understand and write it. Even if you give, give furred up, which was given there in the text that is in the paragraph, they will not penalize you. They will give you the score. Now, So what has happened here? Anyway, so I'll, that's it, I guess. No? Yeah, that's it. So we have come to the end of the session. I thought I will show you one more reading, but I think I'll have to do it in the upcoming sessions because we are running out of time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for watching.